If you're using multiple MIDI devices in your studio, then you need to purchase a Mio XL. Now, I have my normal Mio XL set up over my shoulder. I've got two different MIDI devices connected to it. And in a previous video, I showed you how to connect to your computer using the USB DAW connection on a Mio XL. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I can take MIDI from those devices and send it back to my computer over one ethernet cable. And the most powerful piece of all this is these are discrete MIDI connections. So uh, I'm sending two separate MIDI connections from those devices to my computer. And best of all, I could send up to 22 discrete MIDI connections all using one ethernet cable. So let's talk about how I set that up and the steps you need to take to make the same thing happen. Okay, so in our previous video in this series, I showed you how to set up the Mio XL, again, using the USB DAW port. Now, this is my uh, road-worn, highly used and abused Mio XL. My other one you can see is sitting over my shoulder there. Um, in this particular scenario, the connection from that XL is too far away from my computer to use a USB connection. So instead of this USB DAW connection, what I'm gonna be, uh, gonna be doing for this video is using an ethernet connection on the back that says RTP MIDI. Here's the power of that RTP MIDI port. Uh, like I mentioned in the intro, I can send 22 different MIDI discrete MIDI connections from uh, 22 different computers, controllers, whatever, through one ethernet cable through the XL to my computer. So let's talk about how to do that. I think the first thing um, that's important to do to, to keep your sanity and to remember what you're doing is to rename your MIDI ports. So in my case, again, I have two devices connected over there. First, let's talk about the device connected to the DIN port. So on the back of the device, I'll show you what it looks like here. Uh, we have multiple DIN ports as well as a few on the front. And on the DIN one out of this port, I'm going from five pin MIDI here to a Nord keyboard, okay? So what I need to do uh, in order to understand this and understand what's happening, I'm gonna actually rename that port um, in my computer. So on my computer already selected, uh, I have Oracle for X series. Oracle for X series is the free control software from my connectivity that allows you to control and configure all your audio and MIDI interfaces by iConnectivity very, very simply and easily. And what I love about this is I get really complex control very simply um, in a really great looking software. So let's dive into this. First thing I wanna do is go to, let's start in the MIDI routing tab here, okay? And again, the, the key to understanding this, I try to mention this in every video, is sources and destinations. What's sending my MIDI and what's receiving my MIDI, okay? For the sake of this, um, let's say sources. Again, we've got this connected to DIN 1. I'm just gonna click into DIN 1 here so I can see my destinations because I wanna relabel a destination. So uh, what port am I using on my interface for this? I'm using DIN 1 here, and that's going out to my Nord. So I'm gonna click this icon here, pencil icon, to rename this, and let's call this Nord. So now every time I see this uh, in my software in Oracle for X series, I'm not gonna think, oh, DIN 1, I'm just gonna think Nord, because that's what's connected to it, okay? We'll talk about the other side, the Ableton connection in just a moment, how we're gonna get this from uh, our Mio XL to our DAW in just a moment. Now, what's our other connection? I have this Oakboard Slide Duo that's connected to a USB host port. And whenever we're using any USB devices, we talk about this quite often, the most important thing we do is do a USB host port reservation. This is gonna link that USB MIDI controller to one of, in the case of our XL, 10 possible discrete connections to um, our computer or other devices connected to our interface. So I've already done this uh, in a previous video, but I'll just show you really quickly. You go into USB host port reservation, you see slide duo there, and I've chosen this uh, in this list to, um, to link that to say, okay, every time I connect this, this is gonna be the connection to uh, my computer, which is great. So now let's go back out of here. Uh, I've got that USB host port reservation set up. Now let's rename it. Let's go to MIDI routing. What's our source? Where is that connected? It's connected to host one. So I'm gonna click host one here and I'm gonna call this, uh, let's just call it slide duo, okay? And we'll hit save. So again, now every time I look at Oracle for X series, I'm not thinking, oh gosh, what, what host port is it again? I really don't remember. I'm just simply looking at it and I see slide duo. Okay, so I've renamed things in Oracle for X series. That's the first start. Now what we need to do is create connections on our computer that our interface can connect to. I'm on a Mac, so I'm gonna use what's called audio MIDI setup, which is gonna allow me to create RTP MIDI sessions on my computer. If you're on a PC, I would suggest using the app RTP MIDI. I've included a link in the description of this video that you can download. There's a few other apps as well too that you can download, but check out RTP MIDI. And what's great is that app functions and looks exactly the same as what I'm about to do on Mac. So 
download, install uh, that app, maybe pause this video and then come back here in a second once you, I'll mention the screen, be on the lookout for it. Once I, I get to that point, then it's the same process, whether PC or Mac. So let's go to our computer. I'm gonna go to audio MIDI setup. So uh, again, on a Mac, I'm gonna search for that. I'm gonna do spotlight, search for audio MIDI setup. Uh, when this opens, I wanna go up to window here and I uh, want to choose show MIDI studio. Now, once the MIDI studio opens, I'm gonna go back up to this menu section here. I wanna choose open MIDI network setup, okay? What I'm gonna do here is create two discrete sessions. One that's gonna be for our Oport Slide Duo, one that's gonna be for our Nord MIDI controller, okay? Um, these two sessions are gonna be discrete, so MIDI is not gonna pass between them. Uh, if I wanted to do that, then I would do that in Oracle for X series when I'm routing MIDI, but let's start creating these. Uh, so we're gonna create a first session. We're gonna click this plus icon here. Local name is how this is gonna show up on our computer. So how do we wanna see this in Ableton Live? What do I wanna see this as? So we're gonna make session one our Nord. So we're gonna call this Nord here, okay? And then bonjour name is what do I want this to show up as on the network, okay? So I'm gonna call this Ableton one, right? So this is gonna be Ableton MIDI output one. So I am gonna uh, think of this. You can make these names whatever you want to. Um, I suggest again on the local name part of this, uh, name it whatever the device is connected at the other end. And then bonjour name really could be anything, but maybe follow kind of a similar process. So uh, let's keep going here. So there's our first one. We wanna go down to the bottom left-hand corner here where it says who may connect to me and I wanna choose anyone, okay? So there's our first connection uh, and we're going to uh, click enabled. Now let's click another plus icon because again, we need a discrete connection for our second device here. So we have session two created local name. Uh, what is this? We're gonna call this slide duo. And then bonjour name, we're gonna call this Ableton two, okay? Who may connect to me is already set to anyone and we're going to enable it. Now, at this point, what I've done is I've created two possible connections. I've uh, essentially taken two uh, MIDI cables from my computer, hypothetically speaking, uh, theoretically speaking, whatever you wanna call it, and I've said, okay, here's two connections. Now, where do I connect those? Now I'm gonna go into Oracle for X-Series and use RTP connections on my Mio XL and say, hey, connect to RTP1, connect to RTP2. Okay, so let's go back to Oracle for X-Series. And what we're gonna do is go to our RTP MIDI network session here, okay? What we're gonna do, basically the process is take RTP1, connect it to that first Ableton connection and take RTP2, connect it to uh, that second Ableton connection. Very, very simple to do. Uh, what I'm gonna do is go back to Audio MIDI setup. Let's grab our first port here, Nord. What's our bonjour name for this? It's Ableton1. I'm gonna actually click in and copy this. That's the easiest way for me to do this. Then I wanna to go to RTP1 and make this the initiator. And we'll see a little box here. I'm gonna paste Ableton 1 and hit save. And you'll see that's gonna establish a connection from our computer to uh, the RTP1 port. And if we go back here, you'll see that's joined as a participant. So our very first RTP port is joined as a participant here. If I go to my second session, you'll see there's uh, no participants in that yet because we haven't joined RTP2. Let's do that now. So let's go to RTP2 here. We'll do a similar thing, changes to initiator, Ableton 2, that's already in there, so let's hit save. We'll wait a second for that connection to be established. And then again, what you're gonna see is that's gonna be established on our computer to Ableton 2. Okay, so we have that connection made now. So essentially what we've done is we said, okay, we have a uh, uh, hypothetical MIDI cable going from our Mio XL to our computer, and that's connected to that first network session. In our case, that's connected to Ableton One. Then we have a second cable that's going from our Mio XL, a hypothetical cable, that is going to our computer that, again, in this case, is connected to Ableton Two. The beauty of this is those hypothetical cables are all over one ethernet cable. So now we've established those connections. Let's do our MIDI routing. And hopefully, because we renamed things earlier, hopefully this is gonna be pretty simple to understand. Okay, so let's back our way out of this. We're gonna go to the MIDI routing tab. MIDI routing, I say this every video, is very simple and easy to understand. We have sources, we have destinations. The key to understanding this is think really simply, what's sending MIDI, that's my source, what's receiving MIDI, that's my destination. Now, while you're here, if you want to, to make this a little easier, again, we have RTP1, we have RTP2, let's rename these, okay? So I'm gonna go in here, uh, we're calling this Ableton1, we're gonna hit save. Let's rename this one. We're calling this Ableton 2, okay? 
Even though these are RTP ports, again, I just wanna make this MIDI routing process very, very straightforward and simple. So let's start with our first routing. And as a reminder, the connection we have is a five pin DIN cable coming out of the DIN one output of our Mio XL. So what I wanna do is say, let's go from my DAW uh, and we wanna take that from RTP one connection and we wanna send it there, okay? So um, what's sending in this case? It's gonna be Ableton one, RTP one, right? Where do I wanna send it to? I wanna send it to, oh, look, we renamed this. So this is very straightforward, very simple to see. We see Nord listed here. So you can see that's the default mapping there is to take RTP1 and send it back to DIN1 output, which is great. That's what we want in this case. So that's super, super awesome. Now let's reverse this. Let's say we wanna take slide duo, which what is our connection there? It's host one. We wanna send that to RTP2. How do we do that? So what's our source? What's sending in this case? It's host one. If you remember, let's make this easier on ourselves. Earlier, we went and renamed host one to be slide duo. So I just see slide duo and I say, where do I wanna send slide duo? Where do I wanna send MIDI to? And you can see it's already the default routing here is RTP2. So I want this to go to Ableton 2. So you can see how this is really easy to follow. If I rename those ports, it makes this connection really, really simple to process and to follow through, okay? So at this point, I know we're talking about a lot, but it's very simple steps that we just build up to create a, a, a what could potentially be complex scenario with lots of MIDI everywhere, make it very simple with one ethernet cable. So what we've done is we've established a connection from our devices to our Mio XL, from our Mio XL to our computer, discrete connections all over one ethernet cable. Uh, those are connected to our computer through those network sessions. Now we need to go into our DAW and say, hey, receive MIDI from here, send MIDI to this port. Now in my particular scenario, I'm gonna be using Ableton Live for this. You could use whatever DAW you want as long as it's compatible with MIDI. Uh, and the first thing we need to do is go into our MIDI preferences. So I'm gonna do command comma, which is Ableton's MIDI preferences. I'm gonna click link tempo MIDI. Let's work in order here. Let's start with our Nord. Our Nord is connected to DIN one out, so we're dealing with outputs here. So I'm gonna go scroll down to the output side of this, and I'm looking out, network, and wow, look at that. Again, if you name things properly, it makes this very, very simple to follow. I know we're doing a lot of components, a lot of parts, but if we do the work to name it properly, it's gonna be really simple to follow along. So I wanna send MIDI from Ableton Live's tracks to my Nord, so I'm gonna choose uh, track there. Now again, in your DAW, this may be something different, but you wanna look on the output side of that for Nord, okay? That's the connection in your DAW. Now let's look at the other side of this. The, the other thing we need to do is our Oakboard Slide Duo. That is sending from host one. We wanna take that into Ableton to control Ableton, okay? Or whatever your DAW is, right? Don't be hung up if you're using Logic or Pro Tools as opposed to Ableton. So I'm still in MIDI preferences here. This time I'm on the input side of this and I'm looking for Slide Duo. Again, we named it, so it's very easy to find. We wanna take MIDI from Slide Duo and we want to remotely control Ableton Live. So we're gonna click that button here. That's gonna allow us to remotely control Ableton Live. Now I could leave track enabled to send MIDI to Live's tracks um, or I could disable that. That's an Ableton specific thing, but I'm just gonna leave it for now. So now in your DAW, Let's go back to our Nord and let's say we wanna send MIDI from here. Let's call this Nord MIDI, okay? Um, I wanna go and say MIDI from, let's say all in, so we're getting MIDI from different connections, but I wanna send MIDI to, go to MIDI to here. Where do I wanna send it? To my Nord. I know I sound like a broken record, but that is the beauty of renaming things because it's just really simple to see. It's a pretty complex thing we did, it takes a few different discrete steps, but combine it together, name it properly, it's, it's very, very simple. Now let's say we want to, again, uh, assign uh, and control Ableton Live from here. I could do Command M and I could MIDI map. Uh, I know it's behind me, but let's press uh, play here. And then I'm gonna reach behind me on my Oakboard Slide Duo. Let's press play on that. And I'll show you back over in Ableton. You can see that that's mapped to the play button. Uh, again, that's a specific Ableton thing, but that's just sending MIDI from my Oakboard Slide Duo into my Mio XL over an ethernet cable to a network session one uh, that is then routed into Ableton Live. So the Mio XL is gonna allow you to use uh, every piece of MIDI gear that you have in your studio, have it all centralized into one thing so it's very easy to route either to and from devices, to manage all your devices really, really simply. And best of all, particularly if you're doing this in your house and you have uh, other people living in the house with you that don't wanna be living in your mess with synthesizers and cables everywhere, it's one ethernet cable going from the Mio XL. Sure, I could, yeah, definitely make those cables look a little cleaner, but it's one ethernet cable going from that device to my computer that can then pass MIDI back from my computer to that. And I can place that anywhere in the studio, which is super, super great. So if you're looking for a really simple, easy, 
but powerful way to control and manage all your MIDI gear for your studio. Check out the Mio XL for my connectivity. If you're looking for something that's a little smaller form factor, check out the Mio XM. Both are incredibly powerful, but simple to use uh, MIDI interfaces. And if you have a question about the Mio XL setup, something I didn't cover in this video, then reach out to iConnectivity support. I've included information on how to contact them in the description of this video. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.